guys and welcome back for today's video I have a bit of a unusual review I have been yesterday on my local Sephora uh, it was with another purpose there was a Urban Decay event and I purchased some stuff from them which I will review uh, in a video after this one but returning to our story I have seen that Sephora was having 30% discount for Too Faced uh, eyeshadow palettes and also for one of their foundation. And the foundation that I uh, mean, it is the Peach Perfect foundation. So after I swatched it in the store, I decided that I want to try it. I, I thought it's a good price, but I, want, I didn't want it to buy it and discover that it is not uh, working for my skin. So what I did, I was asking one of the ladies from the counter to give me a sample and finally I ended up with two samples. So what I got, it is the shade Snow and the shade uh, Porcelain. In uh, Czech Republic we have 12 shades, what I've seen on our local Sephora website, but on the store I was only able to find two shades, two lighter shades that might work for me. This is the reason that I have two samples for today, uh, because um, they, they were either too dark or too yellow, so there is that. Now, the snow shade, it's really strange, it doesn't look like a snow. This is the porcelain, it's even darker, so I don't know how in word they are calling this light shade, because for me a lighter shade is close to white, if it is a snow then it should be almost white. The quantity they are selling, it is 1.6 uh, fluid ounces, I don't know exactly how much it means this in milliliters, I think it is around 40-45 milliliters, which is quite huge for a foundation, so this, this is good, you get a lot of product for your money and also for me maybe it is not so good uh, because I prefer less quantity since I have so many foundations that I need to, to finish, but um, let's stop blabbling and let's start working. On my right side I will add a primer, I'm using the Laura Mercier foundation primer that I also reviewed on my previous videos. I will link that video down below or I will put it here up on the cart and I will leave the left side bare. So just uh, I have the moisturizer and the SPF. While I will uh, leave the primer to sink in, I will read the information that I have found on the Too Faced official website. This transfer resistant medium coverage foundation creates a smooth canvas for flawless comfortable matte wear using our exclusive comfort matte technology that, it never, that is never cakey or mask-like. Details. Up to 14 hours photo-friendly wear smooths for a flawless finish, oil controlling, so this is one of the reasons that I want to try this foundation, infused with exclusive comfort matte technology, we don't know what's this but let's suppose it's something good, and smells like peach and sweet fig milk, formulated without gluten and parabens. Apply with fingertips or a sponge, start at the center of the face and work out on forehead. Okay, I think our primer is set. Now what I will do, I will add my minimizing uh, primer just to cover up my pores. I'm just using my regular Winky Lux whipped cream primer that I'm trying to pan this year. And if I'm speaking a bit slowly, this is because my children are sleeping. So while well, my son doesn't have this problem, my daughter has very light sleep, so it is possible that she will hear my voice and she will wake up. I will take a spatula and I will mix snow and porcelain. And I will also 
um, apply half of the face with a beauty blender and the other half with a brush. Mm, has a nice scent of a peach and maybe fig. I don't know how the, the actual fig uh, is smelling. Okay, so what are my thoughts after I apply on half of my face uh, the Too Faced Peach Perfect Foundation using a beauty blender sponge. It has definitely a medium to full coverage. I would say more medium but this is because I'm applying with a beauty blender and we all know that beauty blender it gives more a medium coverage. You cannot obtain full coverage using beauty blender because some product is absorbed in. I have a dewy finish. Actually I like this finish and if I set with the powder then I will have the desired matte finish. Let's see what it happens when it will completely dry. But it spread really, really fast. I didn't have any problem blending. I don't have any patches on my skin. I hope I'm seeing well. Those two shades, porcelain and snow, mixed together are uh, giving me the perfect shade. It is not looking yellow by any means. And my face doesn't look cakey. Let's try with a brush and I will come with the final conclusion. I'm completely stunned. I like it so far. I can say that I like it more than the IT Cosmetics CC Plus Matte Foundation. I don't know if this is because of the shade, because this is uh, actually really matching my skin tone, but I love the finish and I even don't know what to say and which method I, I like more because it's working perfectly with a brush and it's also applying perfectly with a sponge. So either way it's flawless, uh, definitely with a brush I have full coverage so for me this is a full coverage but my face doesn't look cakey by any means so I really have a good uh, skin day I can say after I apply this foundation if it will rise up to its claims this it will become my new favorite foundation so now I will apply the concealer powder my face and put the face makeup and I will uh, come back with the final conclusion I'm back. I want to tell you that. But I feel like my makeup was done by a professional makeup artist. This is how I feel in this moment. I don't know how well it's visible on the camera. I can say that I'm really loving this foundation. It is exactly what I'm searching for a foundation. Matte but not flat, medium to full coverage. Well, I'm not so into full coverage, but if my face doesn't look cakey, I don't mind. All the powders that I apply on the top are blending perfectly. I don't have any patches. Doesn't set into my fine lines, excepting here on the forehead, but here all the foundation do that, so this is not the fault of the foundation, it's just the fault of my skin texture. And as I said, I look like a makeup artist just came to me and did my base. So for the moment I love it. It's now 14, 14. And I have 15 minutes, maybe more, let's say 25 minutes since I applied the foundation. I don't know if I'll have a time to make another intervention between the final checkup, but uh, if I will not have time, I will just give you my thoughts and I will try to uh, check my foundation as much as is possible, even I will not have time to film, because um, in a few hours we will need to leave to pick up our son cake, because we will uh, celebrate his birthday tomorrow. On 17th of February he will be 4, but we will celebrate his birthday tomorrow. 
maybe I will insert the picture with the cake. I, I see that I'm speaking too much and I also don't have so much time before my kids will wake up. So yeah, I want to finish this uh, conclusion here and I will see you in a few hours. Hi guys, there are five hours since I applied the Too Faced Peach Perfect foundation. I will zoom you a bit in so you can see my forehead it's completely shiny in the central area I have a bit on the side of the nose strange but my nose is not shiny and of course I have also on my chin a lot of shine but even though the face is shiny the foundation didn't separate I still have pretty coverage on me you can see yeah so you can see how shiny I am so definitely is not so is not keeping me so matte like this it cosmetics CC plus oil free matte does but isn't a bad foundation considering the fact that it is full coverage so but I like the fact that even I'm oily I look more like a dewy than like a greasy ball I'm tempted to blot it but I think I will keep it like this another two hours It's been now almost 8 hours since I firstly applied the Too Faced uh, Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. I haven't touched at all my face. I didn't blot it, I didn't set it with powder. So this is exactly how I look after wearing this foundation for 7.5 to 8 hours. Even though I am pretty greasy and oily at this time, I want to say that I still like it. I love the finish that it provides. The coverage and the fact that even if I get oily, it doesn't, uh, the foundation doesn't separate and doesn't collect on my pores or on my fine lines. is not wear down around the nose where I'm usually having this problem and also I have some uh, foundation left on my chin. On the side where I use the primer um, I have a bit less of oily so I will consider to add a hydrating primer if your skin produces more oil. If your skin is normal or dry I think this foundation will look great because I saw how it looks after I applied. It was providing a dewy finish. The cons will be the shade range, 12 shades available on Sephora Czech Republic. And for me, from personal reason, the quantity. <laughs> Maybe it's strange for you to hear this, but I, I consider that 1.6 fluid ounces, it is too much, it's a bit too much. For a person like me, who wants to try more foundations, but also wants to pan to finish what she has bought with her own earned money. But for someone who really wants that money worth of it, I think the quantity that they offer for the price is really fantastic. So, from this reason, I will think if I will buy it, the, the full-size version. I think that I have a certain amount of foundations that uh, I'm trying to pan for this year and I also want to buy a lighter shade of the Catrice Ultra HD foundation which is hands down my favorite one so far so I will use the samples that I've been giving so I think I still have left three or four usages and also I think that I've used a bit too much for today's video for the demo so probably if I will use less quantity I will also get a bit less oily 
I will keep you updated in my upcoming videos um, if I will buy it or if I bought it or not. Till then, don't forget to tell me in the comments down below if you have tried this foundation and what are your thoughts, whether you like it or you don't like it. And yeah, don't forget to like this video and to subscribe before you leave. And I will see you on my next one. Thank you.